Mangrove forests are very unique as a habitat. They provide homes to millions of animals and they're really good at it too. The main reason for this success is because mangroves are able to distribute the four essentials, food, water, air, and shelter, to both land and water evenly. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how and why mangroves are so successful and why they'll always be successful habitats. I'm also going to leave a visual guide just for you so that you don't get bored of the footage because I think it's going to be a bit repetitive. I'm also going to leave a word for you to comment and if you comment that word, you get a shout out. Also, if you like zoology, I try to make zoology as entertaining as possible just for you. And if you'd like to join our community, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have, welcome to GeoZoo. Now I'm going to talk about the history of mangroves, how exactly this perfect ecosystem was created. But before we start, I'd like to talk about brackish water. It's an important term. Brackish water is when fresh water meets salt water. This is important because most mangrove forests are found in deltas, a place where rivers meet seas or oceans. That depends where the mangrove forest is located. Mangrove forests are animal havens. This is true for many reasons. And the first reason is they support a wide range of species. Their versatility and ability to adapt is the very reason they're successful. They provide homes for terrestrial animals, which means animals that live on land. They provide homes for aquatic animals, animals that live on water. Uh, this includes both fresh water and salt water. Not to mention arboreal and avian animals. Those are animals that live on trees and air, or on air, in the sky, respectively. And there is enough food to sustain both forms of life. There are many interesting and unique creatures that live in mangroves. I'm pretty sure you want to see some of them. Some of them are absolutely bizarre. So here are some of my favorite examples. The first one I'd like to mention is my favorite. It's called the Sunderbunds. A disclaimer here, the footage I am showing you is not footage of the Sunderbunds. The secret comment here is Mudskipper. The Sunderbund mangrove forest is a mangrove forest found between India and Bangladesh. It is home to many unique species such as the Bengal tiger and several species of deer. One species I'd really like to talk about is the mudskipper. This weird fish can come out of water for a limited amount of time. They can breathe through their skins and the lining of their mouths, of their mouths. They add a unique angle to mangrove forests, a kind of angle that we've never seen before. It also has a wide or vast collection of deers such as the sambar deer and the sunderbunds deer. But perhaps what the sunderbunds is really known for are the tigers there. The sunderbunds mangrove forest is home to the largest population of royal Bengal tigers. These majestic beasts are the embodiment of stealth and intelligence. You never see one come until it's on your chest, ready to kill you. So the Sunderbunds are home to a lot of creatures. But what about the Everglades in Florida? The Everglades in Florida are home to a lot of creatures too, such as alligators and crocodiles. In fact, the Everglades is the only place where crocodiles and alligators meet. It's a very rare event. And no, crocodiles and alligators are not the same thing. Mangroves are also home to a lot of crab species, including fiddler crabs. They love to fiddle around mangrove roots. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like this sort of content, I'll be uploading soon. So make sure to stay, stay subscribed.